संवोमनांसि जानता संवोमनांसि जानता देवा भागं यथा पूर्वे देवा भागं यथा पूर्वे संन्यानाना उपासते संयानानाउपासते 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 Let us start yoga sadhana with yogic sukshma vyayam or loosening practices to increase micro circulation neck movements forward and backward neck bending caution avoid this practice in case of severe cervical spondylitis start with alert posture samasthiti stand with the feet Two to three inches apart. Keep the hands on the waist. While exhaling, move the head forward slowly, and try to touch the chest with the chin. While inhaling, move the head backwards in a comfortable way. This is one round. Repeat one more round. right and left neck bending caution do not overstrain during practice while exhaling bend the head slowly to the right experience stretching on the left side while inhaling bring the head to the center position while exhaling bend the head to the left side experience stretching on the right side inhale and bring the head to the center position this is one round repeat one more round right and left neck twisting caution do not give jerk to the neck keep the head straight while exhaling gently turn the head to the right so that the chin is in line with the shoulder while inhaling bring the head to the center position while exhaling turn the head to the left feel or experience stretching on the right side inhale and bring the head to the center position This is one round. Repeat one more round. Neck rotation. Caution. People with neck pain and cervical spondylosis do this practice carefully. Exhale. Bend the head forward. trying to touch the chest with the chin inhale slowly rotate the head clockwise in a circular motion exhale while coming down this is one round repeat one more round then Rotate the head in an anti-clockwise direction. Inhale, go back, exhale and come down. This is one round. Repeat one more round. 
relax. Shoulder movements, shoulders and arms movement. Caution, frozen shoulder patients do this practice carefully. Start with alert posture, samasthiti. Keep the fingers together, pointing downwards while inhaling. Move both the arms from side above the head with the palm facing outward. Exhale and bring them down. This is one round. Repeat one more round. Shoulder rotation. Stand straight. Inhale and raise both the arms up to shoulder level and bend them in from the elbows. Place the fingers on the respective shoulders. Try to touch the elbows in front of the chest. Rotate both the elbows and shoulders in a circular manner. This is one round. Repeat one more round. Do the same in reverse manner two times. Inhale while raising the arms and exhale while bringing them down. Bring the arms down and relax. Trunk movement. Trunk twisting. Caution! In case of vertebral disorders, do this practice under the guidance. Starting from the alert posture, raise both the arms up to the chest level, keeping the palms facing each other and the arms parallel to each other. Keep the feet about one foot apart. While exhaling, twist the body towards the right side. Come back with inhalation. While exhaling, rotate the trunk and spine towards the left side. Come back with inhalation. This is one round. Repeat one more round. Slowly return the arms with exhalation and feet together. Relax. Knee movement. Caution. In case of arthritis and obesity, do this practice carefully. Start in alert posture. Then keep the feet one foot apart. Inhale. Move your arms up to the shoulder level from the front, palms facing downwards. Exhale, bend the knees and bring down your body to the half squatting position. In the final position, both the arms and thighs should remain parallel to the ground. Come back with inhalation. This is one round. Repeat one more round. Slowly return the arms with exhalation and bring the feet together. Relax. Now let us move towards Yogasan. Standing postures. Tadasan or the palm tree posture. Caution. Avoid lifting the heels in case of arthritis varicose veins and vertigo. Starting from alert posture, assume standing position. Keep your feet two inches apart. 
Inhale. Lift your arms up to the shoulder level from the front. Interlock the fingers. Exhale. Turn the palms outward. Now, inhale. Stretch the arms over your head. Raise the heels off the floor and balance on the toes. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Bring the heels down. Release the interlock of the fingers. Exhale. Bring the arms down by the sides and come back to starting posture. Vrikshasan or the tree posture. Caution. Avoid this practice in case of arthritis, vertigo and obesity. Starting from alert posture, focus on a point in front. Exhale. Move the right leg up and place the foot on the inner side of the left thigh. The heel should be touching the perineum. Inhale and extend the arms up and join the palms together in Namaskar Mudra. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Exhale. Bring the arms down. Release the right leg and bring it to the starting position. Repeat on the other side. Exhale. Move the left leg up and place the foot on the inner side of the right thigh. The heel should be touching the perineum. Inhale and extend the arms up and join the palms together in Namaskar Mudra. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Exhale. Bring the arms down. Release the left leg and bring it to the starting position. Padhastasan or the hands to the feet posture. Caution. Please avoid this practice in case of cardiac spinal disorders and glaucoma. From the starting posture, assume standing position with feet 2 inches apart. Inhale slowly and raise the arms upwards from the front. Stretch up the body from the waist. Exhale and bend forward at the level of hip joints until both the palms rest fully on the ground. Stretch the back to make it as straight as possible. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Now inhale. Come up slowly to the upright position and stretch the arms above the head. Exhale. Slowly bring down the arms and return to the starting position. Ardha Chakrasan or the half wheel posture. Caution. Avoid this posture in case of vertigo and in cardiac problems. Starting from alert posture, Stand with feet 2 inches apart. Support the back at the sides of the waist with the fingers. Try to keep the elbows parallel to each other. Drop the head backwards, stretching the front side of the neck. As you exhale, bend backwards from the lumbar region. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale and slowly come up and return to the starting position. Relax. Trikonasan or the triangle posture. Caution. Avoid this posture in case of slipped disc, 
sciatica and after abdominal surgery. From the alert posture, spread out the feet three feet apart. Inhale, raise both the arms from the side up to the shoulder level and palms facing outwards. Turn the right foot towards right side. Exhale, slowly bend to the right side and place the right hand just behind the right foot. The left arm is straight in line with the right arm. Turn your head and gaze at the tip of the left middle finger. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale, come up and bring the right foot back. Repeat on the other side. Turn the left foot towards left side. Exhale, slowly bend to the left side and place the left hand just behind the left foot. Turn your head and gaze at the tip of the right middle finger. The right arm is straight in line of the left arm. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale. Slowly come up. And bring the left foot back. Exhale. Bring the arms down and feet together. Come to the starting position and relax. Sitting postures. Bhadrasan or the firm posture. Caution. Avoid this practice in case of severe arthritis and sciatica. Start with Vishramasan. Support the back with the hands. Both legs stretched forward. Body should be relaxed in long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Keep the hands beside the hips and palms resting on the floor. Now, bring the soles of your feet together. Exhale and clasp the toes with the hands. Inhale. Put your heels as close as possible up to the perineum region. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Exhale. Release the hands and stretch out the legs in the front. Relax. Vajrasan or Diamond Posture Caution! Those who are suffering from knee pain and ankle injury should avoid this practice. Start with long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Palms resting on the ground. Fingers pointing forward. Fold the right leg at the knee and place the foot under the right buttock. Similarly, folding the left leg, place left foot under the left buttock. Place both the feet in such a way so that the big toes touch each other. Position of the buttocks is in the space between the heels and feet. Keep hands on respective knees. Keep the back straight. Gaze in front or close the eyes. When returning to the starting position, bend a little towards right side to take out your left leg and extend it. Similarly, extend your right leg and return to the starting position. Ardh Ushtrasan or half camel posture. Caution! In case of hernia, abdominal injuries, arthritis and vertigo, please avoid doing this asan. Start with long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. 
palm resting on the ground, fingers pointing forward. Fold the right leg at the knee and place the foot under the right buttock. Similarly, folding the left leg, place left foot under the left buttock. Kneel up with thighs vertical. Place the hands over the buttocks with fingers pointing downward. Keep the upper arms in line. Inhale, bend the head back and stretch the neck. Exhale, bend the trunk backwards as much as possible. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale, come back to kneeling position. Stretch out the legs, return to starting position. And relax. Ushtrasan or Camel Posture Caution Those suffering from hernia should not practice this asan. Start with long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Palms resting on the ground. Fingers pointing forward. Fold the right leg at the knee and place the foot under the right buttock. Similarly, folding the left leg, place left foot under the left buttock. Kneel up with thighs vertical. Place the knees and the feet about few inches apart. While inhaling, bend backward without jerking the neck. Place the right palm on right heel and left palm on left heel and exhale. Weight of the body should be evenly supported by the arms and legs. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale, come back and kneel down. Stretch out the legs, return to starting position. And relax. Shashakasan or the hair posture. Caution. Avoid this posture in case of osteoarthritis of the knees. Start with long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Palms resting on the ground. Fingers pointing forward. Fold the right leg at the knee and place the foot under the right buttock. Similarly, folding the left leg, place left foot under the left buttock. Spread both the knees wide apart, keeping the big toe touching each other. Place the palms between the knees. Exhale, bend forward with arms outstretched and place the chin on the ground. Keep the arms parallel. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale, come up and close the knees together. Stretch the legs. Return to starting position. Relax. Uttan Mandukasan or the stretched up frog posture. Caution. Patients with osteoarthritis of the knees should avoid kneeling down position. Start with long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Palms resting on the ground. Fingers pointing forward. Fold the right leg at the knee and place the foot under the right buttock. Similarly, 
folding the left leg, place left foot under the left buttock. Keep the palms between the knees. Spread the knees wide apart. Raise both your arms, fold them from the elbow and place the palms on alternate shoulder blades that is right palm on left shoulder blade and left palm on right shoulder blade. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Now inhale and raise the arms up. Exhale, bring the arms down and close the knees together. Stretch the legs and return to starting position. Relax. Vakrasan or the seated twist posture. Caution. Avoid this posture in case of acute back pain and spinal disorders. Start with long sitting posture. Sit with the back straight with the legs stretched out in the front. Bend the right leg and place the foot beside the left knee. Bring the left arm around the right knee and place the palm beside the right foot. Exhale. Turn your body and head to the right. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths. Inhale and come back. We will now repeat the same on the left side. Bend the left leg. Place the left foot beside the right knee. Bring the right arm around the left knee and place the palm beside the left foot. Exhale and twist your head and body to the left. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths. Inhale, come back. Relax. Prone postures. Makarasan or the crocodile posture. Caution. Avoid this practice in case of pregnancy and frozen shoulder. To start, slowly lie down on your stomach with feet together and toes pointing outwards. Put the chin on the hands. Open the feet apart with toes pointing sideways. Head up and place to the right on your hands. Keep the eyes closed and relax the whole body. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Remain aware of the body and breathing. Bhujangasan or the Cobra Posture Caution! Those suffering from hernia and stomach ulcers should not practice this asan. Start with Makarasan. Now, join the legs and place your palms beside the chest and elbows close to the body. Inhale. Slowly lift the head and chest up to the navel region. Keep the elbows parallel and maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Exhale. Bring the head down and rest your chin on the ground. Bend both the arms. Put the chin on the hands. With the feet wide apart, toes pointing outward. Head up and place to the right on your hands. Relax. Shalabhasan or the locust posture. Caution. Those with severe lower back pain, peptic ulcer, hernia 
and cardiac patients should avoid this posture. Start with Makarasan. Now, join the legs. Place both hands beside the body, palms facing downwards. Inhale and lift both the legs off the floor without bending the knees. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths. Exhale and bring the legs down to the floor. Bend both the arms. Put the chin on the hands. With the feet wide apart, toes pointing outward. Head up and place to the right on your hands. Relax. Supine Postures Setu Bandhasan or the Bridge Posture Caution! Those suffering from stomach ulcers and hernia should not practice this asan. In this asan, you start in a supine position by bending both the legs at the knees and bringing the heels near the buttocks. While holding both the ankles as per your convenience, keep the knees and feet in one straight line. Inhale. Slowly raise your buttocks and trunk up as much as you can to form a bridge. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Exhale. Slowly bring your hips down and straighten the legs in supine position. Relax. Uttan Padasan or the raised leg position. Caution. People with hypertension should practice this asan with one leg alternatively. Lie comfortably on the ground, hands placed by the sides and palms facing down. While inhaling, slowly raise both the legs without bending them at the knees until you are able to see the tips of toes. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Exhale. Slowly bring both the legs down and place them on the ground. Relax. Ardhahalasan or the half plow posture. Caution. Avoid this practice in case of abdominal injuries, hernia and lumbosacral pain. Keep hands by the sides of thighs, palms resting on the ground. Inhale. Slowly raise your legs together without bending them at the knees and bring them vertical to the ground. The body from hip to shoulder should be kept straight. Maintain the final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Exhale. Slowly bring the legs down to the ground without lifting the head. Relax. Pavan Muktasan or the wind freeing posture. Caution. Avoid this practice in case of abdominal injuries, hernia, sciatica or severe back pain. Lie down on the back. Bend both the knees. Exhale. Bring both the knees towards the chest. Inhale. Interlock the fingers and clasp the shin below knees. Exhale. Raise the head till your chin touches the knees. Maintain final position for 3 to 10 breaths with body awareness. Inhale. Bring the head back to the ground and exhale legs back to the floor. Relax in supine position. Shavasan or the corpse posture. Lie comfortably on the ground with legs stretched out. 
hands placed by the sides palms facing upward keep the eyes closed consciously relax the whole body become aware of natural flow of breath it will tend to become slow remain in the position until you feel refreshed and relaxed kapal bhati caution avoid this practice in case of cardiac conditions epilepsy hernia gastric ulcers and during menstrual cycle sit in any comfortable position close the eyes and relax the whole body inhale deeply through both the nostrils till you start experiencing fullness of the pelvic space and the chest expands expel the breath with forceful contractions of the lower abdominal muscles and let the inhalation be passive let us begin the first round of kapal bhati with 20 strokes Exhale deeply and relax. This is one round of Kapal Bhati. Repeat two more rounds with 20 strokes each. Pranayam. Nadi Shodhan Pranayam or the alternate nostril breathing. Start with sitting in any comfortable posture. Breath should be slow, steady and controlled. Keep the spine and the head straight with eyes closed. Relax the body with few deep breaths. Keep the left palm on the left knee in Gyana Mudra and right hand should be in pranayam mudra with the middle and the index fingers folded like this close the right nostril with the thumb and practice exhalation now inhale through left nostril recognize the touch of air moving through your body as prana close the left nostril with the ring and the little fingers and exhale through the right nostril now inhale through the right nostril close the right nostril with the thumb and exhale through the left nostril this is one round of nadi shodhan pranayam repeat it for four more rounds shitali pranayam caution People suffering from cough, cold and tonsillitis should avoid the practice of this pranayam. Sit in any comfortable posture. Place the hand on the knees in Gyana Mudra. Close your eyes. Now, roll up the tongue and shape it as a tube. Inhale maximum through the tongue. Take the tongue inside the mouth and close the mouth. Then slowly exhale through the nostrils, remaining aware of the area used for smelling. This is one round of Shitali Pranayam. Repeat it for four rounds. Brahmari pranayam Sit in any comfortable posture with closed eyes and inhale deeply through the nose exhale slowly making a deep humming sound
Repeat one more round. Practice the Brahmari Pranayam with Shanmukhi Mudra. Repeat one more round. Dhyana Sitting in any comfortable position. Place the hand on the knees in Jnana Mudra. Close your eyes and sit with a slightly upturned face. You need not concentrate. Just maintain a mild focus between the eyebrows and be conscious of your breath. Let them flow freely. Just observe the flow. If possible, let the thoughts dissolve. I commit myself to remain in a balanced state of mind all the time. It is in this state that my development reaches its greatest possibility. I commit to do my duty to the self, family, at work, to society, and to the world for the promotion of peace health and harmony the yoga practice would end with shanti part or the universal prayer for everyone's peace and prosperity Sarve bhavan tu sukhina Sarve santu niramaya Sarve bhadrani pashantu Ma kashche dukha bha Makashchi Dukha Bhag Bhave Om Shanti Shanti 
शाम